Simple entry, entering notes with typewriter letters. Refer to the example Go Tell Aunt Rhody PDF or Chapter 5 in the Finale Chops book to recreate this score. When using simple entry and typewriter letters to enter notes, we will use numbers to select the note durations in place of using the mouse to click on the simple entry palettes. If you are using a desktop computer, you will use the numeric keypad to select the note durations. If you are using a laptop without a numeric keypad, you will need to turn on Finale's laptop shortcut table. This will allow you to use the number row on your typewriter to change the note durations like on a numeric keypad. If you are using a laptop without a numeric keypad, follow these directions before entering any notes to turn on your laptop shortcut table. With any Finale document open, click on the Simple Entry tool, Simple Menu, Simple Entry Options. Click the Edit Keyboard Shortcuts button. At the bottom under Keyboard Shortcuts Set, next to Name, click on the pop-up menu and select Laptop Shortcut Table. Click OK and OK again. Your Laptop Shortcut Table is now in place. It will always be turned on every time you open Finale. Now you can use the number row on your computer to change note durations and the function key row to add intervals. To open the Aunt Rhody empty score you created in a previous video, click on the file menu, Open. Open the GoTell Aunt Rhody empty file. Let's resave this file as a new document. Go to the File menu, Save As. Type in the name Aunt Rhody Letters. Make sure you save it in the desired folder, then click Save. Let's go to the View menu, Scroll View, to enter the notes. If you need to zoom in to make the staff larger, press Ctrl Plus on Windows. That's Command Plus on Mac. This slide shows the numbers assigned to the different note duration values in the Simple Entry tool. For example, when you press 4, you select an eighth note value. Press 5 for a quarter note, 6 for a half note, etc. Press 0 to enter a rest the period key to add a dot to a note, and R to change a note to a rest.